me. Okay, so we will move further. So here, uh, we just look at this uh, statement. The placement of an operator before or after a variable that is operand decides the timing of an increment or decrement process. That means, see when we use uh, like plus plus cx and x or x plus plus, here only one operator is there. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, one operand is there. Okay and one type of operator is there that is increment operator so increment operator is a type of an operator and x is a x is an operand so in case of increment and decrement only one operand we use okay fine next so if if we come across increment operator plus any other type of operator in the same statement then it decides the timing of increment or decrement process that is the meaning here the placement of an operator before or after a variable decides the timing of an increment or decrement process means see if we are using only plus plus x or x plus plus it will do the same the operation is same in addition to the plus plus operator if we come across any other type of operator like uh, equals to that is assignment operator or uh, in c plus plus we have some operator called as insertion or we have operator called as extraction in this way in addition to the plus plus operator if if in that particular statement if it come across any other type of operator then comes the question so what we have to do okay so we will see that example here see so for example consider the state a is equals to 5 n is equals to plus plus a okay i hope it is visible this image a equals to 5 and n equals to plus plus n. So let me open this hyperlink only. It's okay. So I'll try to explain here. Okay. So for example, consider the statement a is equals to 5, n equals to plus plus a. See now in the in the statement n is equals to plus plus a we have two types of operators that is equals to is one operator one type of operator that is assignment operator and plus plus a is another uh, plus plus is another type of operator that is increment operator uh, just a minute I will open that uh, particular okay. So here you just look at this uh, example, for example consider the statement a equals to 5 and n is equals to plus plus a, okay. So now you just look at the statement, a equals to 5, what happens here? The value 5 is copied into variable a, so from assignment statement we have understood the value 5 is copied into variable 
a so just look at this memory representation also a is a variable name five is the value so that is normal assignment statement okay now when it comes to n equals to plus plus a so plus plus operator is used before the variable a okay uh, simultaneously look at the next part of the example uh, consider the statement a equals to five n equals to a plus plus so here plus plus is used after the variable so when we use the before the variable what happens when we use after the variable what happens we will see here okay now coming to the first example n equals to plus plus a the value 5 is copied into a that is normal assignment statement next see when we use n equals to plus plus a the above statement sequence is called as pre increment process okay so we have two types pre increment and post increment if the operator is present before the operand it is called pre increment if the operator is present after the operand that is variable it is called post increment so now what happens here we will see so in case of n equals to plus plus a here okay so we have the statement n equals to plus plus a okay now we will break the statement into two statements that is see when we come across plus plus a or a plus plus so this can be written as a equals to a plus 1 correct uh, in the previous example only we saw that means here uh, the example see uh, x equal to x plus 1 can be written as plus plus x or x plus plus okay similarly here what the example what i have taken n equal to plus plus a first you can consider the right hand side that is plus plus a can be written as uh, a equal to a plus 1 whether it is a plus plus or plus plus a you can write a equal to a plus 1 now again we will consider this uh, a equals to plus plus a okay so now i will explain in detail see now we have two types of operators what are those equals to is one type of operator plus plus is another type of operator then we have to do two operations so the operations are assignment operation and increment operation so again we will tell assignment operation and increment operation but which one we have to do first that is the question here okay because we have two operators Plus, equals to 1 plus plus so here see you just concentrate on this uh, operator if plus plus is present uh, before the variable okay so that is called as pre pre means before okay pre is nothing but before like pre final pre final exam means before the final exam we will write that exam okay similarly here also if the plus plus operator is present before the variable it is called pre before so now in addition to this i will add one more word pre increment okay because it is present before the variable so pre increment that means we have to do increment increment operation so before only we have to do before means first we have to do so first we have to do increment operation then we have to do assignment operation so again i will tell first we have to do increment operation then we have to do assignment operation because plus plus is present before the variable okay now if i do first plus plus operation what happens okay so what is the value of a here what we have considered so a value we have considered it as 5 okay now you substitute that value substitute in the sense directly we can write a is equals to uh, 6 here because plus plus indicates you have to increase by 1 so the value of a initially it was so a was 5 so we have increased by 1 a becomes 6 so next what you have to do instead of writing n equals to plus plus a we should just write n equals to a because a plus plus we have already done so this is the first statement what we have done this is the first operation what we have done in the second operation the second statement you need not write again n equals to plus plus a because plus plus operation we have already done so in case of in, in the statement n equals to plus plus a two operations we have to do one is increment and another one is assignment so in two operations which one we have to do first that is the question so if the operator is present before the variable first you have to do increment operation then we have to do another operation so another operation here is assignment operation so first you do plus plus a if you do plus plus a a value is increased by one that becomes a six next you do the assignment operation that is n equals to a now you substitute n is equals to that is in the lhs you don't substitute in the rhs you substitute n equals to a value is six so final value of n is six now so this is in case of pre increment operation I hope you people have understood so now let us go to the diagram again okay see the above statement sequence is called as pre increment process here the value of variable a is incremented first so as i said so we have two operations increment and assignment first we have to do increment then assignment so they are telling value of variable a is incremented first then whatever the value 
it got that is copied to n okay because if you uh, first only if you copy phi value phi value will be copied to n so we should not copy phi value we have to copy the incremented value so incremented value is 6 that value is copied so in the next diagram you see n equals to plus plus a can be written in two statements a equals to a plus 1 that is first increment to the a value then it becomes a 6 after increment final value of a that you copy to n so you just look at this diagram from equals to 2 that means from which variable you are copying you write there to which variable you are copying you, you should write there so finally n value will be 6 okay understood i hope people have understood <coughs> so any doubts you can ask so uh, particularly for yeah, increment yeah. and uh, decrement uh, increment operators some uh, I, I think from my side uh, from two three at least three four times you have to revise it uh, it's not so easy. Okay, sir, you can ask anything. I don't know. It's I mean, it's clear uh, for me at least. Yeah. On, on the pre incremental, yeah, it's clear. Okay. Post increment, I will explain. Uh, if, if people copy the pre increment, then I will explain the post increment. So even you can copy from word also same thing you have done it so this is pre increment you just copy this Thank you. 